hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are continuing our laravel 9 breeze crud application series so guys now in this video we'll be learning about how to edit and update the data into our database with laravel breeze okay so guys now let's get started so let's move to this edit button and start with the editing process let's get back to editor and here we find our edit button guys and at this edit button we are going to tell edit hyphen student okay then give forward slash and concatenate and call your student id so this id comes with the help of the looped students data and now guys let's copy this and create a route let's get back to our web and here you see with the get method i am going to send the route edit student and then again forward slash and send your student underscore id and then you're going to the edit function okay so let's go to our student controller and create one edit function yep okay so let me copy and paste it all done edit so now guys let's call the dollar student id and with this help of student id you are going to send dollar student is equal to find your student data using find function and now let's take the student variable and send using a compact function where you are going to send this in the edit blade file so let's get back to our resource views student and create an edit.blade.php file all done so now guys let's copy the create form fully same and paste that in edit blade that's it okay yep and now instead of save student let's give update student and change the path update student forward slash with the student id dollar student hyphen id so from where this dollar student is coming from so you just have sent that right this variable you sent in your edit blade file so from there you are going to view it so guys let's copy this and try to echo in your input fields dollar id not dot dollar name let's send this again dollar email dollar form let's save and now guys let's see the output so refresh once and now let's click on i'm going to click on id one click on edit so you find with the id edit student one and here you see you get the edit student data okay so let's get back on the students and i'm going to edit with id3 let's edit here you see perfect so guys now let's if you submit this button you have to update this record let's get back and yep so let's copy this route with the student id okay so let's go to web.php add the route using put method so now you are going to send the student id student id to where update function okay so before going to update function you can see that you are using a put method to update your record so if you are using a put method you need to send that method also over here so let's send that method is equal to put put so now if you submit this it will assign as a put method and then it will update your record so guys now let's copy this and create a function public function update and now guys you can validate all the inputs so we have already created the student form request where we are validating those details so if you want to just check you can go to it let me just show you request where student form request 
so this is my rule and authorize is true done and now guys if you are validated let's take this all the validated data and now let's update that okay so now guys let's create a variable called student is equal to call your student model colon colon where condition you are going to check for the id okay so let's search for the id what id uh, we have sent that right let's call that student underscore id so this student id is nothing but your parameter you have sent so that student id you are getting that and checking from your id and student id where you are going to update the record okay so let me update those records using your column field of your database name and then your input field from your form let's take this your inside this you are going to take name all done so this name is coming from your validated request so you can just go to this name fields and this name email phone is coming from your blade file okay so you can just check this name email and phone you are taking those data all set so same way guys you are going to call for your email and phone all set save once updated let's return and redirect back to where view student so yes students student updated successfully done so you are showing the message right let's get back to the students url that means you are going to index blade at the table and here we will show our data guys so for that how you are showing the message in your create file you can just take this success message okay just control x and paste that why because we are not showing the success message in edit file only we will show the errors if any occurs yep let's save here and now guys let's get back to our controller all done let's check it out refresh now let's try to update this warrant to warrant govind warrant govind here i'm going to keep all the number as eight update student and you move to perfect student updated successfully done and you can see that data is been edited and now let's move to id number two and here i'm going to remove this records two records okay only the name is available let's update this so you can see oops something went wrong the email field and phone field is required done and now i'm going to change this to nine totally update student you can see that it's been successfully updated perfect so guys we have seen that how to edit and update the data in laravel 9 breeze application okay so guys let's continue next video about how to delete the data from our database so guys in this video that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share